guys a little unfamiliar new style here mm. going for the probably all day sit and it's supposed to be 25 30 mile an hour winds out of the south here gusting up to 50 today and warm unseasonably warm for Nebraska but, so I decided to get out of the tree we're sitting on the ground. Let's see if you can see. It, it. We've got Scar out here. Where he can be seen from the rivers back here behind me. And bucks like to cruise up and down this river at this time of year. A lot of big bucks are shot during rifle cruising this river. seven days till rifle kicks off so this is the beginning of five days of really getting after it for me and yeah set up here brushed into this thorn bush this thorn tree really just gonna focus on that one shooting window and hope that with the wind kicking up and then his attention distracted by the decoy that I'll be able to get away with a little bit of movement. But it's gonna be wild. We've got seduction blowing from the windscreen stick over there. Shouldn't even be able to carry it across the river, bring anything over if they can get a whiff of it. And uh, yeah, if we get a shot, it's gonna be very right up close here, like 10 yard shot. So I need to sit real still until the bug comes in and locks on the decoy, then I can move just a little and hopefully get a shot off. Well, it's about quarter to 11. I've been back here for a little over four hours. Well, actually closer to five hours. <laughs> Sun's been up for a little over four hours. So, haven't seen any activity on this side in this area. But to be honest, all the times that I've hunted out in this property, no matter where I sit, uh, I don't really see any activity in the morning hours seems to always be in the evening and I think the trail cameras would back that I did get out and do a little tiny still hunt I guess you would say just up onto this bedding ridge to the northwest where I'm, I think big buck beds big one did last year anyway and just kind of went just a little ways into there so I could pull a card and see there's any pictures there's lots of trails cutting through there and then came back and a little to the east just straight down the river bank here looking at how much prints there are down on the, on the river mud while I was doing that I did see two does across the river and then I did see it a younger buck go down into the mud and uh, flopped down on his belly a couple times. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to watch. But he looked over this way and he saw me kind of slide down. I was thinking about trying to grunt him across the river and see what happened. It would have been an awesome moment just to bring him across the river and take him. But he saw me slide down and then uh, he didn't know what what exactly was going on so he bounded back into the tall grass so I headed back over here and sat down again and tuck in here keep my eyes peeled for their midday cruising but for the most part just try to relax get ready for the evening hunt got plenty of snacks 
brought some of last year's deer meat and uh, should be alright so hopefully this pays off we'll check in later guys chasing or rutting activity tonight it's going to be in this timber between me and the inside bend of the river where the does a lot of the does do their bedding when i was coming in this morning i was rocking along this line because i had to pick up scar out of the woods and i wanted to cut straight north and get on the river and move west to drop in where i was going to be because so i didn't want my south wind blowing across the property so when i was walking in there was two does out here that I bumped in the dark. Um, neither one were blowing, just bumped them out. It seems like they've been pretty consistently coming out onto this grass finger morning and evening. So now we're just getting set up for the last couple hours of daylight here. We've got Scar out here at 25 yards this time. I did do a little bit of trimming so I got more of a shooting lane. And uh, really my hope is that I intercept them on these trails down here below me. Those are to the north of me and the wind's blowing out of the south. But I'll show you here with some milkweed. That it is blowing so hard that the milkweed is carrying 30, 40 yards out and still elevating. So I'm not really worried about my scent on these trails right below me. Um, if anything's way deeper in the timber, they might smell me from here, but that would be beyond the grass finger and I'm anticipating movement from the bedding straight across the timber. Like I said, if they do some chasing in here, hopefully they'll catch eye of Scar out there. And I'm gonna try to intercept them here for the shorter shot. That's the other concern with this super strong south wind cutting across me. How much is it going to move my arrow shooting from an elevation? Um, so I'm going to try to keep the shot as short as possible, which would be hitting this trail right down here in front of me. But that's the plan. Can only hope it comes out close to plan and we get a shot. So, been out here since five o'clock this morning. Right now it is uh, 2:30. Believe sunsets around 5:10. So, got about three hours of legal, and hopefully we get it done. It's gonna be tough with this wind, but. It's the rut, this should be moving regardless. Just gonna be able to do a lot of calling, rattling, they're not gonna hear much. But we'll still see if it's a shot. <laughs> Wish me luck. We've got about 30, 35 minutes left of legal light here, and uh, have not seen a single stinking deer over here since I got up here at noon. Not even this evening. On the finger of grass here. Just no signs of life. It's 
super frustrating when it's rut and it's 75 and the wind's blowing 25 miles an hour. I'm feeling they're still gonna rut. The activity will be going on at night. It was borderline too hot today for that kind of activity. So you know, I tried to set up on the water and it's just no activity over there on the ground. So we got moved over here, got set up with the decoy, and I have not seen any signs of life, not even on the cut corn over there. I don't see any deer feeding out. So we still got about a half hour, so I'll sit it out. Keep focused, keep my hopes up, I guess. Just frustrating. Gotta endure the frustration. It's part of the game, I guess. And uh, I know tonight I'm gonna be taking this whole set down. This is my saddle hunting set. And I, need, I need this with me for running gun wherever I end up tomorrow or Monday. Probably won't be back into this piece until Tuesday or Wednesday. And there's snow on the ground and the weather's changed significantly. The cattle just came out yesterday, so give it a couple days and let them start to get comfortable in here and then come back in after there's snow on the ground. But for now, I think my best, best move is just to settle back in and hope I get lucky this last half hour. About all I can do. Hope things are going better for y'all. Next time you'll see me, it'll be either tomorrow if we do end up hunting or Monday. Yeah.